Officer Greenwood, you should be ashamed of yourself. I mean, we talked about this before. You come out here and you smile and you laugh and you escort children to their assassins, sir. How can you... You, you agree. Here? You agree. You agree, and yet you stand here. We love you enough to tell you the truth, but you're going to face the judgment of God for what you do here, sir. How wicked of you to come out here... You're an officer of the law, and you come out here and you take young, innocent, unprotected children, and you escort them in there, and this man takes money to rip their arms and legs off and crush them to death and poison them to death, and you're proud of yourself. He Why takes money here? to do it. You haven't, surely you can justify and defend that. If you think it's the right thing to do, why won't you engage with us about it? Tell us why it's right. It's a nice day out. Sir, it's not a nice day. We're out here pleading with parents not to murder their own children. There's nothing nice about that. That's awful. Nice. Sir, if you, can, if you can defend what you're doing here, do so. Why won't you engage with us? Why won't you tell us why it's okay to bring children in to be murdered? Why can't you talk about something we can talk about? Because you're here at a child sacrifice center, officer. You're protecting murderers, and you're protecting, they're not being threatened. The only people being threatened here are the young, innocent children being dismembered, and you're facilitating that. So we're going to talk about that, because I actually care about your soul. You're not promised another day. No one is. You don't know when you're going to meet your maker, and I don't want you to stand before God and have to explain why you did this wicked thing, and why when, when Christians called out to you and told you, you're going to face the judgment of God for this, turn around, repent. You said, it's a nice day out. Why can't you talk about what I want to talk about? And try to talk about basketball or some crap like that. I don't think basketball is crap. I like playing basketball. I know you do. My friend Toby, who's out here with me, likes playing basketball too. But he also thinks that the murder of unborn children, or born children, is more important than talking about basketball. How about track and field? Officer, you need to repent. You need to turn to God. You need to put your faith in Jesus Christ. You need to recognize that you, as you stand right now, are under the judgment of the living God. And that if you do not repent, you will face condemnation. Sir, we're here because we love you. How can you not, how can you look at this baby with his face sliced off and feel okay about that? You don't look at it? That's your, that's your justification? Sir, this baby's face has been sliced off by the man, a man like the one in this building. And you are taking mothers and fathers into this building to help them do this to their children and you want to talk about basketball. That's wicked, sir. When you stand before God, he's not going to want to talk about basketball. He isn't even going to want to talk about track and field. He's going to look at you and he's going to say, you want to hear? Because the Bible tells you exactly the words you're going to hear. The words you're going to hear is, depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. You who think you are a law enforcement officer are a practicer of lawlessness. You are a practicer of unrighteousness. And the words you will hear from the Lord are, depart from me, for I do not know you. You are covered in the blood of every one of these babies. Every one. Service as some sort of ticket to murder an innocent baby. That's wicked, sir. No, you don't. It's your freedom to kill a baby. What a guy. What a wicked thing to say. You fought for the citizens of this country. Now you are murdering them, sir. with you please could you come reason with us folks your child is precious he's valuable he deserves the love of a mother and father don't kill your own child folks turn away from this place let us help you that's so heartwarming you hold her hand as you walk in together to murder your child you have really touched my heart what a man what a man Ma'am, don't, ma'am, 
you don't have to kill your child. We'll help you. I promise you we'll help you. Don't let this woman coerce you into killing your child. I didn't make her do this. She yes, just says she agrees and she doesn't You're think walking her in the door as her mother. You are not loving her at all. Unreal.